In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic chart that's controlled by a drop down list. The first thing you have to do is to create a drop down list. Select the cell D2, you go data, data tools, data validation, settings tab. In here, you're going to say list and basically type quantity, comma, sales, which are your two fields name on your data set. And this will create a drop down list like this. Next, to create a dynamic table, we're going to use a function called choose call, with the first argument being the data set table, and the second argument will be the column say number one column and number two column. This will give you a table with a name and a quantity field. If you were to adjust the third argument to say number three, it will give you the third column, which is your sales column here. So in this formula, all we have to do is to adjust this to give you a dynamic table. In order to make the third argument on the choose column dynamic, let's use a match function. The first argument would be the field in cell D2, which is our drop down list. The second argument would be the field name from your data set. And then the third argument would be zero for the exact match. As you can see, when you make changes to your drop down list, the match values returns the index of the field name. Now you can insert this match function into our choose column function, and this will create a dynamic table. And now all you have to do to create a dynamic chart is to select your dynamic table like this and press Alt F1 to create your dynamic chart. Resize and reposition and drop complete. 